The last time I showed it Tesla, oh my god, I got burned so bad. According to Google Maps, it should be around here somewhere. Yesterday I was shorting the stock and today they disappeared. I can buy these two things separately and duct tape them together. But on the way up, oh my god, I lost so much money. A little bit too rich for my I've shorted many stocks in the past before because in the stock market, the bulls take the stairs and the bears take the windows. Just kidding, it's Bill Gates who took the windows. As traders, there's no denying that in the current market condition, there's definitely more opportunities to profit when the stocks are selling off. But I think sometimes we forget that these stocks that we are shorting to the ground, they are real companies with real products. Well, not all of them. So today, I want to take you guys on an adventure with me to visit all the stocks I've shorted in real life. Yes, in real life, in the city of Vancouver, Canada, outside of these candlestick charts and all these screens. Now the question is, after seeing these stocks in real life, will I finally stop shorting them? Hmm, let's find out. everyone before we leave and of course it will be a Tesla vehicle that takes us to all the places I've shorted in the past here in Vancouver in real life and also before we go remember to drop a like especially if you want to see more of these kind of fun outside content in the future and subscribe too to be honest I'm actually a better Tesla long than short I've always done better when I go long on Tesla, whenever it's like breaking out, especially whenever there's like catalysts on deliveries or any other kinds of news. So just to be clear, I don't short Tesla a lot, just sometimes. We are at the Tesla dealership in South Granville. The last time I shorted Tesla, oh my god, I got burned so bad. It was near the end of March when the entire market rallied and had a dead cap bounce for multiple days. And oh my god, Tesla stock went from I think $800 all the way to $1,100 in I think two weeks. It was crazy. So lesson learned, never short Tesla stock. And I have a lot of long-term investments in Tesla stock since 2018 and 19. So I think psychologically, it's a little bit difficult for me to day trade and short sell the stock while I'm long-term and really bullish on this as an investment. So lesson learned, kids. Be careful when you are shorting Tesla. We are in front of the Peloton store on West 4th. This is one of those stocks that got really popular during the pandemic because you know all the gyms were closed and the fitness centers. So it made sense. I understand the appeal because my own pole dancing and my own gyms were closed as well. But I think now with everything opened back up, people generally prefer to go work out outside and I mean, at the end of the day, it's an iPad on a bike. I can buy these two things separately and duct tape them together and still be so much cheaper. One of the best short trades I've done on Peloton was last year in May 2021. They have some negative news about the bikes getting recalled due, due to being child hazards. The stock tanked from I think $99 all the way down to $82. So that was a great short. And I made some very decent gains on that short trade. Still not enough to cover one of these bikes though. I think it's just a little bit too rich for my ass. And just a few more steps that way, we have Lululemon, very convenient. All of these healthy fitness stores, they all flock together. 
We are now at the Lululemon store in West Forth in Vancouver near Kitsilano. Did you know Lululemon's actually founded here in Vancouver? I actually don't have anything to say about the stock, except the one time when I was brand new in my first two years, I decided to gamble some shares before earnings. Never doing that again. So I think I lost like half of my $2,000 small account. That was a lot of Lululemon pants that I could have bought. To be honest, I think I've spent more money on these Lululemon pants than I've made money trading the stock. And just look at them, they are so comfortable right here. And they even have pockets here. This video is not sponsored by them, but they definitely should. You probably learned by now that short selling is a big part of my trading strategy. And in order to perform short selling well, you need a broker who can help you succeed with premium tools and services. That's why I want to introduce you to Centerpoint Securities. This is a broker I've used for a couple of years now, so I'm very excited to have them as our new sponsor. Centerpoint Securities is a broker designed for sophisticated momentum traders. Have you ever seen a stock running up that could be a juicy short? However, you missed out on that trade because you couldn't find any shares to short. Centerpoint works to help solve that problem. They have access to short locates backed by the in-house securities lending team and over 8,000 easy to borrow tickers. And if you ever have urgent questions regarding your trades or positions, just call. Their team actually races to pick up the calls faster than my ex-husband ever picked up the phone. I've personally used Centerpoint myself and I've been more than happy with the customer service and platforms. If you sign up through my referral link down below, you can get 50% off commissions and short locates for 60 days. And that's not all. You also get 6 months free of Trade Idea Scanner that's worth $700. Normally, Centerpoint has a 50,000 account funding minimum. However, for my audience, they reduced it to $30,000. You can reach out to Centerpoint on their website or phone for more information or check out my discount link down below. And now let's get back to the next stock I've shooted in real life. Okay, I'm looking for Rivian office in Yale Town. Uh, where is this company? According to Google Maps, it should be around here somewhere. Hello? It's probably my fault though. Yesterday I was shorting the stock and today they disappeared. it is Rivian Geltown everybody. This is a stock that was once worth $170, valued at $100 billion market cap. Ford was selling 8 million shares of Rivian stock yesterday after the IPO lockup on May 9th. The stock tanked from prior day's close $29 all the way to $29. Poor Amazon is left holding the bag. But to be fair, this is just a corporate office. It's not a dealership. Um, and they do actually have some very beautiful looking cars. I know, I know, you could probably tell. Lucid Motors right here in Vancouver. And I've got to say, even though I hate the stock, this is an absolutely beautiful dealership in downtown Vancouver, in one of the busiest intersections in the city. You have Pacific Center, Nordstrom, Microsoft, one of my former employers over there. This is a beautiful location. Check out these sick cars behind me and the nice t-shirts. This is really, really nice. Oh wait, but the glass is dirty. This is why you gotta short the stock. I have a love-hate relationship with the stock. I've been trading them ever since before the SPAC merger deal, when the ticker was still CCIV, Churchill Capital. On the way up, I think you know the CCIV went all the way to $60, and after the merger deal, it was definitely one of those buy the rumors, sell the news event. The pricing was, I think, 30 or 40 dollars so overnight the stock tanked huge and took a huge haircut and every day after that the stock was a very nice short after but on the way up oh my god i lost so much money on the way up i got short squeeze every single day yo lucid you owe me forty thousand dollars It's nice to have a little coffee break. 
it's actually been a while since I've been in one of the Starbucks coffees. I used to go there all the time during my 9 to 7 job in VFX. I'll go with my coworker and this will be our little break from hell. I mean, from work. But it was definitely a very nice team bonding experience. We'll just go there and take a break to a near Starbucks coffee, grab a drink, and that's when we can finally talk shit about our supervisors. And I wanna give a special shout out to my friend Ran, who is driving us around, around Vancouver today in his Tesla. Um, so thank you very much, Ran. Um, otherwise, we would have to drive around in my little Corolla from the early 2000s today. Oh, that was so much fun. Thank you guys for going on this adventure with me. If you enjoyed this video, visiting all the stocks I've shorted in real life, please remember to drop a like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out Centerpoint Securities and their exclusive promotion in the link down below. And also, if you think there's places I've missed and you really want to see me go visit, let me know in the comment section below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I'm the Humble Trader and I'll see you guys next time.